Kia ora koutou and welcome to Fun Fair in about 3 minutes. Review copy used. It has no solo mode. It's a game for 2-4 to four players, playing time is medium, and it's a pretty simple game. Welcome to Fun Fair, the game of making the most amazing and fun-filled theme park in the world. Will your park contain jungle-themed leisure rides and restaurants? Or will it be robot-themed thrill rides with corkscrews aplenty? Hire staff, build rides, upgrade them with special features, and try to make the most impressive theme park of all. The game ends after six full rounds of play. Each round of play will have multiple actions in it. The winner is the player with the most points at the end of the game. You gain most of your points by having attractions with many features and upgrades, and by completing blueprint cards for their bonus points. Card management. Your theme park is built using cards representing attractions, upgrades, and staff members. Engine building. Cards can interact with each other to create powerful bonuses. Player turn. Each round of Funfair goes through the same seven phases. You start with a city card event, which will provide a modifier to all players for this round. Events last the whole round and are then discarded. Then there is park actions taken one at a time by each player until everyone has had three actions. You can use a build action to play a card, paying its cost in money. If it is a staff member, place it on the left of your main gate. Staff give ongoing bonuses and modifiers to your park. You can build a card from your hand or directly from the market. Replace the card with a new one when you are done. If it is an attraction, it goes to the right of your main gate. You can only have five attractions in your park at any time. Each player also has an expensive showcase card. Only one of these can be in the park. It is a special attraction with unique bonuses and it also allows you to take a fourth park action. Upgrade cards must be placed on an appropriate attraction and you cannot have duplicates on the same attraction. You can use the take action to take a card from the market to your hand or take two cards from the park deck and keep one or discard one card to draw five cards and keep one. The take action can also be used to pick up two blueprints and choose one to keep. After the fourth round of play, no new blueprints can be selected. You can also look for loose change, gaining one coin per attraction in your park. During the guest phase, total up all the stars in your park and gain one coin for each. Then gain any bonus income from staff. And if you have not yet built your showcase, place five coins on it. Finally, remove all current market cards and replace them. Discard the city card and move the round marker back to the start. Why would you like this game? Funfair is a theme that I simply love and it's a concept that works exceptionally well for a tableau building game. There's something intrinsically fun and whimsical about theme parks and the art and presentation of the game backs that up. Mechanically, Funfair is not spectacular. It's a safe sort of card drafting and engine building game that won't leave experienced gamers applauding it for its innovation. But I don't think that's who Funfair is for. It's a light game for a casual audience who wants to spend an hour making a cool theme park with neat rides and upgrades, while playing a solid yet not overwhelmingly complex game. The blueprint cards and award cards the game do offer some extra wrinkles and make the targets you want to achieve different each play. The best thing about this game is its theme and art style. It's bright, engaging and welcoming. Well done Mr. Cuttington. However, Funfair feels like an overreaction to their previous title, Unfair, which was a super mean game with the same theme. Gameplay in Funfair can feel cold and sterile, and the player interaction is extremely limited. The scoring system, where rides get exponential points based on the number of upgrades, does lead to this sort of behavior as well. For a slightly more complex card drafting game, try It's a Wonderful World. And for something a lot more interactive and mean, try Unfair. Fun fair, the second bowl of porridge. If you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, subscribe to the channel, and come support us on Patreon.